Just, just off the boundary, but the boundary's there for a reason, so, yeah. It's a bright and beautiful morning. We're joining local stalker and pest controller Matt Lower in some gorgeous woodland in Sussex. You may recognise Matt from some of the catapult films we've made with Wayne. This morning, it's a 308, not a Caddyshack goblet. As you'll see when we walk around, there's mass damage, loads of foot traffic from them. There is herds in here sometimes of up to 60, 70 I have seen in the past, but I've probably just jinxed it now. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody cold, isn't it? Very cold, very cold. As soon as I woke up this morning, I thought, blimey, it's going to be a cold one, but it should be a good one. So hopefully we can get on to some. Now Matt's not just a hunter, he's an entrepreneur, an ideas man, a disruptor. Now you just mentioned your new device. So basically, I don't smoke no more, as you can see, heavily overweight. And I wasn't going to get it out because obviously I breathe and you can see where it's sort of going. But this little device is called AKA Derek. So the little feather, as you can see, look, it's not 90 degrees, it's blowing that way. So I now know the wind is blowing towards you. And when it's blowing... such a reveal, I love it. When it's blowing a hoolie, you can literally have it up here. But the good thing is, is the red string is high vis. So you're not just looking at the picture, but you can see it's not a massive wind because we're in the middle of the wood, but it's detecting enough that the wind is going over there. Oh. Look, there you go. Awesome. And so, it seem to be found in gun shops near you. Yeah. AKA Derek. Derek. Yeah, Derek. Derek the Feather. Just look at him. He's yeah, look. He's, oh. Yeah, see that? Yeah. It's like one of those fish you get out of a Christmas cracker that curls on your palm. <laughs> it is. The only thing that's work in progress is putting it back in. You <laughs> could. You, yeah, you could. You could have the string where you just pull it back up, but then obviously it's got to come out, so it's just work in progress, really. I've done it longer, so it shows it worked. When are you appearing on Dragon's Den? Um, well, I've had a few phone calls. Um, okay. We're in talks at the minute. He was offering me a silly price. He said that he'd give me a million quid just for the whole company of the Derek, and I said no. But we'll get there. Put too much time and effort. A lot of r and has gone into it. <laughs> and, and the feather is... Dolce and Gabbana, you know. <laughs> Can I ask, is it a particular feather that works better than others? Um, I've actually used a pigeon feather. The reason why I use the pigeon feather, anyone that goes pigeon shooting, when you shoot a bird and you always see the feathers come out and you go, oh, look at the feather. Everyone watches that feather. So wherever that feather lands, you know, the wind's obviously taking that feather there. So I just thought to myself, well, I'll just give it a go and it's just worked. But there's other markets there potentially. I mean, you never know that you know a partridge or a pheasant feather might work better. Yeah, it could do, or even a snipe feather if you can get one. That'd be a quick feather, that one. <laughs> Incredible! And remember, you swint here first. On with the stalk. It's not long before Matt spots some fallow, but they are on the wrong side of the tracks. The river is our boundary. I think they've just passed the river trail. Obviously, you can't shoot them there. So near and yet so far, and so very much setting the tone for the morning. See, that's a straightforward shot, and they are so clever, they just know. You could probably shout now as well. You could probably shout and do a dance, and they'll just stand there and go, <laughs> What are you doing, mate? <laughs> Soul destroying. <laughs> time and time again, the deer are just out of reach. As I said before, you can literally just wave your arms, everything, they just sit there or stand there looking at you, thinking, I'm not moving because I know who's got the title deeds for this land. <laughs> <laughs> Matt has had this wonderful woodland permission for many years, but these beech trees give him the willies. This was a tree here one year, there was some spooky stuff hung up, all sticks. 
or animal um, like wings, feathers, black witchcraft stuff. I had to come and remove it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't sleep for about three weeks, David. I thought mm -hmm. someone was going to come and get me. Yeah, it was not nice. But it's very spooky here at night time. Very spooky. That was the ma that was the main culprit. But that's donkey's years old. That one. Have you um? Have you got a wand? Yeah. Well, Derek turns into a wand. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, there's lovely stuff in here, though. Very old woodland, very old. After plenty of close encounters of the deer, not witchy kind, it's time to admit defeat. The volume of deer were here, but just as you say, yeah. not on our bet, unfortunately. But that's the way it goes. Yeah. But I did have a nice walk. We had some laughs along the way. Um, so hopefully next time we won't be able to get onto some. Fingers yeah. crossed. Any more tricks up your sleeve apart from, obviously we've revealed Derek, but if you've got a few more bits and pieces you can show us next time. I have in my bag, which I think will save people a lot of struggles with their deer, especially when you're grolicking them and suspending them in the air. Okay. I've got some real good goodies in my bag. Mm. A lot better than Derek anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a Derek and would like to tell the world about him or it, then drop us a line.